Hello my loves. How you diddling? Okay, some prong nails today. I'm so excited. So I've already sculpted, I've prepped the nails. I've sculpted the clear base and filed it into shape. And I'm going in now with Diamond Nail Supplies Exposed as my nail bed powder. It's such um, a nice neutral color that it seems to go with like every single skin tone. I love it. So I'm gonna do that on all the nails. I'm loving prom season. I have some super blingy ones coming up for you tomorrow. So as you can see, I'm just placing that bead on, tucking it in and then feathering it down because we're gonna do glitter from the free edge up towards the cuticle. So I'm just using this color to even out the tones of the nail bed itself. So those that, that the beautiful natural colors, I'm just toning them down, kind of neutralizing them. That's why I like exposed because it's not over uh, pigmented, like it's not orangey, browny, pinky. It's really nice and neutral. It goes with all skin tones and it just blends out that nail bed color. It just, I don't know, it just makes it look so lovely and still quite natural without looking kind of plasticky or fake, even though clearly they're fake nails. <laughs> Same again, placing that bead on, tucking it in, using the very tip of my brush, and then feathering that bead down. I don't know if you can hear that, the wood pigeons are talking. So as you can see, when I work around that cuticle area, I, I tilt my brush up more. So you're on working with the very tip of the brush. And then through the nail, I work with the body of the brush. So again, I've left some of her, now normally I would take the natural nails away, but she had such beautiful natural nails that I left them as long as I could manage to sculpt under. So I'm working with the tip of my brush around the cuticle and then smoothing that bead throughout the nail. And because it's quite thin at the cuticle, you can still see the lulululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululul
So tucking that bead in, I'm angling my brush up more and then just gently working that bead down the nail. Coming around to the side, rotating the brush, tucking it in nice and gently, working it down. These sorts of designs are very, very simple in an, in an artistic sense. And if you nail your application, they're not going to take you very long, but they're super effective and clients love them, which is why I showed you, because it's, it's not like crazy exciting. It's just very, very effective and pretty. So I'm working that bead along the cuticle line, just getting it all in place where I want it, make sure I'm not bulking it out too much. And then I'll go back around that area, angling my brush up and just tucking that bead in where necessary. And then feathering it down off the edge of the nail. You want a nice smooth transition from nail plate to acrylic, not a big lump. So I'm going in here. I thought this was the Smiley's Glitter Store glitter that I used, but it wasn't. It was a Unicorn's Den. And this is Plum Fairy from the Unicorn's Den. Um, and I've just picked up a bead of Clarity, clear acrylic from Diamond Nail Supplies and dipped it into this glitter. And then I'm going in with Glitterati's Holographic Squares in purple. Oh my God, hello. They really added that pizzazz that this nail needed. Really beautiful. Again, very simple. Picking up a bead of clear into the glitter, onto the nail, mix it all in, turn your brush around, feather it towards the cuticle with light strokes here. I've got my door open so I'm sorry if you can hear engines revving and stuff. If they were close enough I'd flick something at them but they're not, they're like around the corner. A little bit more of that there to fill up because it was a little bit sparse. Feather it back again. Uh, when you ombre glitters and feather things back, try to make sure that you don't leave an exact line like you've stopped the brush stroke the same place every time, otherwise it won't look as organic. And then in with those squares and I'm just patting them into the wet acrylic. Really pretty, super gorgeously holographic. Same on this nail, picking up the bead of clear into the glitter onto the nail. Turning my brush around and blending that bead back towards the cuticle. Going in with a little bit more because the coverage wasn't as much as I thought. And then I'm just making it look a little bit more random, not too uniform, and then in with the holographic squares again. And you see, because that bead is still wet, I haven't had to add any more product. I'm just placing the, the glitter onto the wet product so I'm not bulking out these nails at all. They're still super thin. Mix that bead in there. That was quite a big bead that one. Make sure, um, see where it starts to go off? You must keep an eye on your side walls and your free edge, so use the side of your brush and the belly of your brush just to tap things into place. Just a little tappy tap tap. I gotta get it in there. Every video, it's gonna happen, I'm so sorry. <laughs> and then we're gonna go in with the holographic squares. So, so simple. Onto the thumb, that thumb, the thumb, thumb, thumb. Love a good thumb. Into the clear, into the glitter, onto the nail. And then I'm gonna clean off my brush, turn it round, feather it back. Nice and simple. See, I just wanted to make that look a little bit less uniform. And then into the holographic squares, and on they go. Really breaks up that purple because it just gives some different dimension to it. It also gives some blue payback, which is nice. Capping in Clarity from Diamond Nail Supplies, placing the bead on, tucking it in again. Really angled my brush up. And then I'm gonna work that bead down the nail. 
I'm working slightly wet because I'm capping glitter. So make sure when you're capping glitter <clears throat> that it's all turned matte. And that's how you know that it's been capped. If it ain't matte, then it ain't capped, honey. Oh my God, what is up with me? <laughs> oh my brain. That's another one. If it ain't matte, then it ain't capped. <laughs> so tucking that bead right in there. You don't need this bulk of acrylic at the cuticle. So tuck your brush right up. Like I said, it's easier to show you, like it's easier to show someone in front of you, but I'll try my best to describe it. And when I'm capping, I take time to look at the nail from all angles as well and just make sure that there's no ridges, lumps, bumps, uneven surfaces. Placing the bead on, tucking it in, and then working it down the nail. one so I'm sorry it's not like a super intricate exciting set but it's a really effective set and something that you know you can use in salon with most clients this is a simple set it's not going to be above people's budget it's not going to be super time consuming it's a realistic salon set tomorrow's one is more zingy zing bling bling and took longer <laughs> This probably took about an hour and a half. It was two hours including the time we took sorting through glitters and picking the right shades and the right colors and stuff like that. So actual from prep to finish took about an hour and a half. So I'm just checking the thickness of the tip of the nail there. It's so quite often, you know, I'll work the product down and then I'll look back and think, oh, I should have left a little bit more on there. But this time I just needed it in the center because there was a little dip. Okie dokie, I've filed them all. I didn't film filing, but I have done on the set I did today. So now we're in for top coat. Are you ready? Hey, are you ready? I've shown top coat of every single nail. I'm using Tack Free Top Shine from Diamond Nail Supplies. I've nearly run out. Oh, I need to get some more. So I'm applying a generous coat of that. I swear I do the top coat slow for my own satisfaction. I'm like, oh yes. <laughs> Need some Barry White playing in the background. So gorgeous. And those glitters really do kind of pay off beautifully. Beautiful. I think I showed top coat in the other hand as well. Did I? I'm sure I did. Yes, I did. Double the top coat porn. Oh yeah. She had to then go on from he having her nails done with me to go to work at the stables with horses. I was like, don't break your nails. You have two days until prom. Do not break your nails. 
So the prom is tomorrow now. And I'll get you some photographs because this is actually my daughter's beautiful girlfriend. So I'll be able to get you some pictures of her with her dress and her nails looking all spectacular. This top coat is so shiny. Insane. Okay, and um, here's the final look at the set. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I will see you in my next one. Tally bye!